We are always told to niche down. I'm pretty sure the saying goes, if you try to talk to everyone, then you'll end up talking to no one. And you know what? It's so annoying that I didn't realize this sooner, but also nobody told me. But niching down as a content creator is terrible advice. There are far better ways to achieve the goal of becoming a full-time content creator without niching down. And hopefully in this video, I will give you some clarity on how you can go about achieving that. Now, let me take you back a few years, maybe five to seven years. And this is when I was starting my videography and photography business. And I was asked the question, who's your dream client? Who's your avatar? What niche are you gonna be working in? And I would have been maybe 23, 24 at the time. Even that concept didn't really make sense to me that out of all my interests, I had to pick one and focus on that one. But I was like, okay, we'll go with it. To be honest, on paper, this made perfect sense. There's what, I think there's 5 billion people on social media. And this was the means of which I was gonna be advertising my videography and photography business. So honing on on a specific niche, it made sense. So that's exactly what I did. Coming from a fitness background, before videography and photography, I was a personal trainer it made perfect sense to transition into the fitness niche. So that's what I did. I worked with fitness content creators and to niche down even further within that niche. So a niche within a niche, I worked with bodybuilding content creators. And you know what? It worked. Within a couple of years of starting that business, I had gone from beginner videographer, photographer to essentially fully booked and unable to take on any more work. The advice that I'd been given to niche down had worked. So why am I now telling you it's terrible advice? Well, as I said at the start, I had many interests and the concept of just picking one didn't make sense. But just like you probably do, there's more than just one thing you're interested in. I liked food. I liked real estate. I liked tech. There was lots of things that I enjoyed. And by niching down, I had essentially pushed all of my interests to one side and said, I'm going to just focus on this, this one thing. But by focusing on this one thing, I put myself in this box. And at the time, that box was the right size for me. It allowed me room to grow. And I was slowly growing and growing within this box. But there came a point where I was outgrowing this box. And by being in a niche, it felt like I was just being constantly pressed back into this box, even though I didn't fit anymore. The niche was being like, stay in your box. And there's me thinking, but I've got all these curiosities. I've got all these interests that I want to explore. And I'm, I'm just basically just being told, stay in your box. You've picked your box, now stay in it. I'd become the bodybuilding fitness videographer guy within the UK space, but I wasn't that guy anymore. I didn't want to be that guy anymore. My enthusiasm for the niche that I was in had begun to dwindle and I was beginning to question whether niching down was actually the right choice. I thought I can keep doing this thing and it's fine, but that's all it is. It's fine. It's not fun anymore. It's just fine. And I'm the kind of person who doesn't really settle for fine. I'm not one to just accept the scenario in and be like, well, that's the choice you made. So you stick with it. I'm like, that is not the case. I'm going to make a change. So that's what, exactly what I did. And I began to explore other content creators and what were they doing and why was it working for them? Now, if there's one man that has continually explored his curiosity, it's Casey Neistat. Filmmaker, content creator, business owner, runner, vlogger, all of those things that I just listed could have been a niche, but they're not. They're in fact, all the things that I just associate with Casey. They are his hobbies. They are his interests. They are the things that pique his curiosity. Casey didn't pick a niche. He was the niche. Another example of this is Alex Hormozzi. Many of you might think of him as the business guy or the marketer, but what about this piece of content, this piece of content, this piece of content, or this piece of content? By being the niche, your interests are what drive the content. So here's why being the niche is far more powerful than just picking a niche. Being the niche not only means that you are irreplaceable, but no one can replicate you. No one can copy you as a person. They can try, but they will always just be a copy. They won't be the original. Whether it's your likes, your dislikes, your thoughts, your opinions, the editing you use, the language you use, your mannerisms, all of these things make up who you are and you become your unique selling point. Your interests and your curiosity might fall into a niche and that's fine, but that doesn't define you. You're not boxed into this niche. It just so happens 
it falls into a niche. Now, why is this so powerful? Well, when I go to watch a Casey Neistat video, I'm not watching the video because it has a certain title or because it's talking about a certain topic. I watch the video because Casey has just hit upload and he's uploaded a video to YouTube. I'm watching the video because it's Casey. I care for his thoughts, his opinions, his storytelling, his energy. I have come to watch Casey. I haven't come for the topic that Casey is talking about. When the content is molded around you, you know those that are watching the video are watching it because of you. So you've got a diehard audience showing up for you. Now I appreciate there's gonna be some pushback here saying that, well, Casey was a filmmaker before he was a YouTuber whereby he explored his curiosity. Alex Hormozzi was a business owner before he started uploading content to YouTube. Gary V was focused on wine library and wine was his niche before he started exploring with social media marketing and content. And those are all perfectly valid. I completely agree. I was the videographer before I started just exploring all the things that excite me with regards to content. And maybe you just have to learn that lesson. Maybe you have to do a niche to realize, hmm, I am more than just a niche. But as I'm building my own content creator business, I'm not niching down. I am becoming the niche. I am exploring my curiosity, my interests, and I'm sharing that with you. And maybe, maybe there's something to learn from that. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one.